Hi, in this video we're going to be demonstrating how to upload a project from a Magellus HMI screen using Vigio Designer software. Here we have a project that's open in Vigio Designer. It is based on a STU 855 Magellus screen and what we're going to do is we're going to go through the right options so that you'll be able to upload a project. So before you can upload that project you have to of course download that project with the right settings. So to do that what we want to do is we want to click on the project name and then we want to open a target and then we want to click on the target um, section of that application and that's going to expose two different areas down here in the property inspector you can see a lot of the parameters and a lot of the options for the overall project but over here when you click on the target section it'll also indicate a checkbox that you'll have to check to download the project to the HMI initially. You'll also see that option under the download section after you expose that and expand that option. You'll also see include editor project as well. So that's basically the project that you've configured in Video Designer that will be downloaded into the memory space of the um, Jelly screen. So here there's a pull down option for disable which is the default and then also you can enable it and you see the checkbox follows along as well. Now also what you may want to check is to make sure you have enough space so if you scroll down to the data location you can click on the ellipse and that will bring up a menu to allow you to download the application to different areas of the Magellus screen. The Magellus screen supports SD cards as well as a USB stick and as you go through these options if your application is too large you may want to select a optional drive which is a USB stick or a secondary drive which is the SD card. Here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the optional drive um, in order to store the application. The main drive is the internal memory of the Magellus screen. So I will select the optional drives which is a USB stick. Click OK. And now I'm ready to download this project into the HMI. It'll include the executable as well as the source file of your application. So the main point of this video is to uh, show you how to upload that project. So I've previously done that in this screen just to save a little bit of time. And once you've downloaded this, built this project and downloaded it into the screen, you'll be able to upload that project. So what we'll do at this point is we'll close the project. So we'll go up and right click and we will say close application say yes so the project will close and then here's your navigator bar with all the projects that you have in your application you simply go to Vigio uh, manager do a right click and then say upload editor project and there you'll be presented with a a menu where you can select the method of communications to the device. Here we're talking Ethernet and then here's the appropriate IP address and then here's the different data locations where the program is stored that we show that we set up uh, um, just a few minutes ago. Here you do th see the secondary drive option which is the SD card. Again the main drive is the internal memory of the device mm -hmm. and then the optional drive is the USB stick. So now I am connected via Ethernet. I have the right IP address. I have the right communications method that I'm using. And here I'll just click OK. Now it tells me that that project is already there. So what I'll do is say no. And what I'll do is I'll come over here and I will delete that project and say yes. And so now I'll go over here and I'll upload it. Upload and I'm getting it from the optional drive. I'll say OK. So I actually deleted the project from my project browser and now I'm going through and actually upload that project from the device 
and you will see now that I have the project back and I can expand it and open a project and there is my source code from the HMI so very straightforward again you do have to include the project and then download it first and then you can follow these steps and actually upload the project and again you may have to add a additional memory stick given the size of your application to be able to store the entire project and then to be able to retrieve it